Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It is such a beautiful day today. Oh, this is the 9th of March. <laughs> I had to stop and think my brain wasn't letting me compute it. These are the last two poodle puppies we have. The little, uh, the chocolate phantom was sold and the people have decided they're not going to take him. So I've put him back on the website and he is going to be a chocolate phantom you can see his butt's really changing already and the little black female will eventually get her phantom markings i'm pretty sure as it took uh aspen that long when i have raised her to get her phantom markings so these guys are doing phenomenal um they are the chocolate male is 12 pounds five ounces and the black female is right at 9.5 they both have lovely hair. They are AKC registered. They are current on all their shots and wormings that they are old enough to have at this point. And they're loving eating the grass. This is like a perfect day to get them outside, let them play, get them some sun. They just got their weekly bath and they got their tails retrimmed and their feet done and their face done. And, um, they are very, very social. Gypsy was a wonderful, wonderful dog. Uh, we did have her spayed, and we just placed her this last weekend in her forever pet home. So this will be my last litter out of Gypsy, and we won't have any more probably until next year. Um, so this is my last registered poodles for a while. They do have, uh, they come with full pedigree. Oh, great, we're going to watch somebody potty. They come with their pedigrees. Mom was DNA tested, so was dad. So I have all their DNA testing, which came out uh, with A plus ratings. So everybody's gonna potty. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Um, so all that's finished with no issues on, on anything with either puppy. They have been getting a weekly bath. They've been getting their faces trimmed. They get their toenails done every week just because that way we can keep them from getting so scratchy and when they run and play they don't scratch each other in the eye which is really a pain sometimes when you've got a big litter and that happens but uh, they're on total percent 100 percent dry dog food and i should shut this off and move this kennel or someone's going to fall right in that and i'll have a mess we just have to give them another bath <laughs> uh do claws were removed um you can see his brown legs on the male. His phantom is really starting to come through. I know, he says, I'm such a pretty boy. Crash, crash and burn. I'm gonna try and put a couple pictures on of them today, but unless I can do it out here in the yard, <gasps> she fell right in it. Uh, I can't get them to hold still on a table to just shoot pictures. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but I will try and get you a couple pictures. They are uh, both, I'm gonna move this cage over here and see if I can coax them down my direction and maybe move this cage out of the way. She says, oh, what are you doing? Huh? Hey guys, peekaboo. Are you up here looking? I know, I see ya. You're both bad, you're both bad. If I can keep them on my end, it won't be so bad. Uh, what else can I tell you? They have had their first dose of heart guard. I use Revolution, so that's finished. He's gone, hi, oh, what are you doing? They're watching me. She's playing with leaves. I do have a stick out here I could give them. See if I can bend down and get it. Let them play tug of war with a stick. They won't find it for a minute. They're going to wrestle. Uh, they're very good in the house. We've been working on no bark, no bite, no lick. Um, those are the three things that drive me the craziest. Um, so I really work hard on that here, but if you like them licking you at home, chewing on you, they will be more than glad to do that. The no bark is more of a nuisance barking. When they're in the house with us and I walk by, I don't want them to stand there and yap at me like crazy. So that's what I work on is when we walk in the house, they just watch you walk by. They don't have to have your immediate attention. They're not screaming at you for attention. And uh, it works out really nice when I teach them that when they're little. So 
well, it's not a very long video, but there's not a whole lot out here with the two of them that I can really tell you any more than I already have. Um, they're both great on the groom table. They are totally uh, acclimated to clippers. They don't mind that at all. And their ears have been plucked. So they've had that done once now. So we do ship nationwide if you're watching this on YouTube. We are located in Central Ohio. And if you go to our website, which is shown below this video in the information section on YouTube, you will see our website address. And you can go there and see pictures of mom and dad. Dad is a 16 pound registered phantom poodle. He's a chocolate. And mom is a blue merle female. So these guys are gonna be Moyen size. They're not gonna be full standards, but the female is gonna be markedly smaller than the male. He's gonna be a little bit bigger than the rest of them, uh, which the males usually do get a little bit, but um, size wise, I think the female is going to average somewhere in that 25 to 30 pound range, maybe, maybe a little smaller than that. So we are keeping three of the puppies. So eventually, uh, we will probably do another Merle litter at some point, but it'll be a year or more down the road. And, uh, but it was a lovely litter and I couldn't have been more pleased and, really hated to see Gypsy go, but we decided we were not going to raise any more puppies with her. She never, never agreed with her when she had puppies. So it just seemed to upset her stomach really bad when she went into labor. And after two litters, I just decided we weren't going to do it to her again. So love the litter though. They're awesome. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Phone number is also below the video and we are on Eastern Standard Time here. So uh, but I do shut my phone off at 10 in the evening. So have a great week. Hope you enjoyed their current video. And we'll talk to you later.